Hey guys, John Frequent World, out in the garage doing a project that uh, I had no intentions of doing, but a little bit of a backstory. My wife does not care about feeding the birds. You guys know that I love feeding and photographing the birds. So last winter I decided that I was going to make myself a um, somewhere to hang the bird feeders that I own on. And the kids had an old volleyball net and I took it apart. And I just used those pieces to make uh, a nice sturdy hanger for the bird feeder. Well, my wife hated the hanger, said it was the ugliest thing, blah, blah, blah. But I'll tell you, it worked, guys. Um, so I'll show you what I had, I'll show you what I bought, and I'll tell you the end result. What I had was uh, these posts right here came from one of those garages that you can buy that always blow down inevitably within two years. And uh, my neighbor had one and it blew down and so he had a bunch of these posts left and I made the kids a volleyball net. We used the volleyball net, well, I put it up for two years, the kids never used it, not even once. Every summer I would get it out, put it up, they never used it. So one day I just decided I'm going to take it apart and that's what I made the bird feeder with. The wife hated it, said it was ugly. So I went to Canadian Tire uh, a week ago and I purchased one of these. I do not recommend these. It's just a long mm, eight foot pole. Um, this is the nice decorative end that you put your hanging. This is supposed to be for two bird feeders. And then you've got this uh, five eighths pole and look at it. You can see it wobbling away here. I knew when I bought it why this thing wasn't gonna work. And I'll show you the end. I know, bear with me. So this was attached down on the bottom. So this was attached down on the bottom like this and you're supposed to push it into the ground and that holds up the whole unit. Well, it's flimsy and floppy as can be and with a couple good whacks with the ax to put this in the ground and it snapped right off. I'll be the first guy to admit I'm not handsome. So you guys know the saying, right? If you're not handsome, you better be handy. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure the wife's gonna approve of this, but this is what we're doing and it's gonna work. It's going to be a hybrid solution. I've taken one of these poles um, from the old bird feeder and I sunk it three feet into the ground down here. Uh, I took the grinder and I cut this in half and I've actually put a bar through here. We're going to fill that with cement. So the reason you're putting the bar through there is that uh, the cement has something to latch on so that you can't lift this out. We're going to fill that with cement and then we're going to take that little flimsy rod right there Put it inside of here, center it with a washer, and fill this with cement. So then hanging up here in front of my little tree, you guys have seen the hundreds of shots of the little birds that they all come from this tree here, and the little blue uh, spruce here. And we'll have the hanger right here in between. Unfortunately, that means I'm also gonna have to do some parging. I found a few spots here on the house, right here. I've got five or six of those. If I'm gonna mix up cement, I probably should do that project too. I forgot to mention why I cut this bar in half and there's only half in the hole over there. I'm going to use this half for parging the cement. Not handsome, but handy. I save every little nib, bit, twisty thing, metal, whatever, that comes off of anything I throw in the garbage. If there's screws, bolts, nuts, I can take off of it. I do that and I use little things like this for projects. It uh, makes life easy. You've got a whole bin there of things, goodies to go through, and uh, you always have parts. You never know what kind of project's gonna come up, right? So save all that stuff. This little piece here came off of my daughter's uh, training wheels on her bike. She hasn't had training wheels in three years, but I saved that piece. Now I'm gonna fit it in here, and I'm gonna drill it out just so it's a little bit bigger, so that that flimsy floppy rod will go in here, and that will hold this centered in here until the cement's uh, sets. All right, cement is in the hole, so now all I can do is wait for a couple of days, and I actually poured some down in here because I want to keep the uh, bird feeder high enough, so I had to kind of guesstimate. I'm, I'm hoping the cement is somewhere inside the tube up to about there. And what I did over here was I took that piece that I showed you guys earlier, I had to drill it a little bit bigger, and we pounded it all the way up to here. I don't have the patience for multi-day projects, but in this case, I have no choice but to wait. The next thing you guys will see is the finished product. Unless there's a catastrophic failure, then you'll never see this video. So, <laughs> so the tube is now full of cement, and we've uh, locked our rod into place here with the training wheel accessory. 
There you have it guys, the finished product. The bottom half is functional from the waist down and from the waist up it's pretty. I know those are the two things I look for in a project. There is no better feeling than taking a piece of junk like this that doesn't work and making it functional. Well, the wife only grunted on the way by to work, so I'm taking that as job well done. Well, the birds might have had to wait two days to get their feed, but that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things, and I can get back inside with my camera and start taking more pictures. Thanks for watching, guys.